So good morning everybody, I'm JT. Welcome to another video from me here at Campervan Journey. And this morning, I'm off to the Southern Motorhome and Campervan Show at the Newbury Showground. <laughs> After a good drive in, we've arrived at the showground. Let's get parked up. Go and have a look around. Okay, so here we are back at the Newbury showground. Last time we were here was a year ago. Um, weather wasn't quite as good then, it was pouring with rain, a very squishy showground uh, today the weather is glorious so there's lots and lots of camper vans and motorhomes on show um, i'll try and show you a good selection of different things and as a little aside to the visit today i'm going to be having a look around at options that could still be of interest for us to replace our van so we're looking for something really that's between a our current camper van, our current California, and a full-size motorhome. But I'll uh, have a little look, see what there is to see. But already, just in the five minutes or so of walking from the car park to here, there is lots and lots of interesting things to see. So there's a really good selection of vans here from the converter Dormobile. I think historically they've got a long-standing relationship with really old Volkswagen vans and you'd expect to see some T6s and such like here but there's a couple of different vans here that I just want to show this really smart conversion based on the Transit behind me. Looks very sporty. Lovely interior on it. White and black theme. Really nicely finished. Rail system for moving the seats backwards and forwards. The one behind me is based on the MAN chassis, which for us is a logical step forwards from the Volkswagen California in terms of giving more space and versatility. I'm quite impressed with this. I'll show you the inside in a second. There is one downside though in terms of what we're looking for, for logic to change. See if you can see what it is. So we've got a rock and roll bed. It says that it's four to five berth sleeping arrangements, swirling twin seats at the front. Really, really nice finish to the cabinet tree inside. Raised bed at the back over the garage area. But no bathroom. So no wet room, shower room, which for us is one of the reasons we are looking at changing ours, so, um, but very, very nice finish. I'm loving the, the, the lighter wood finish in it. Right? So this is a MAN TGE 2, the Ohana 2 by Dormobile. So that is a really nice van. Just a shame, from our point of view, it doesn't have the wet room. And a price of 84.995. So there are some really, really nice T5 and T6 conversions here, as you'd expect at the Camper Van Show. One of the market leaders has got to be Camper King. And there's a selection of them here. 
The finish of them is really, really nice. If I just show you inside this one behind me, it's got a lovely colour coordinated interior, rock and roll bed, slimline kitchen and cupboards going down the side, even a little oven nestling underneath, domestic oven, hobs, little fridge and swivelling front passenger seats. Now this is a 2019 van and done 35 and a half thousand miles and it's for sale for 49995 but uh, looks very very nice in the blue finish I think it's called Acapulco blue from the factory lovely van there's a selection of different colorways available similar interior on this one with a different upholstery different trim to the cupboard units but the same high quality finish that pretty impressive I have to say and this one has got barn doors at the back as opposed to a tailgate which makes it a little bit different This red one here is interesting in that it's got a full-blown oven. It's almost like an oven that you'd see at home. Three-seat rock and roll bed at the back. A little bit cramped, but still managed to get three seats in and the kitchen layout, which is good. So if you had smaller children, it'd be okay. And you've got Isofix mounting points on the outer edges for child seats for younger children. Wine rack integrated down the side. A must when you're camping and a very, very tiny sink. A bit more expensive this one at 65995. This is a newer van 2022 much lower miles just under a thousand miles but again just impressed with the quality of finish of these vans so an orange van always gets my vote especially with black details looks fantastic another configuration in this one again three seat bench lovely details with the orange stitching on the leather overhead storage at the back a bit more compact in terms of its layout of the sink and the fridge no oven on this one But again, common trend, lovely quality of finish. So if you're looking for a converted van, then absolutely based on what I've seen here, the quality of the finish on these Camper King vans is fantastic. Um, quite a lot of money, but I guess you get what you pay for. Uh, this is pretty cool. So I'm inside an Opus trailer tent. So this tent, very luxurious tent, folds open using an airframe, which goes all the way around from a trailer that you just tow behind your normal vehicle. So very luxurious, there's sofa, two double beds. There's a stove inside here, along with 
a cool box and there's also a stove outside toilet wash sink everything you could possibly need <laughs> So on a normal sized trailer, some off-road off wheels, fully self-contained off-road trailer tent experience. Can't see a price for it, but I imagine it's probably about £20,000. Now we haven't got room to keep a trailer of this size, unfortunately, but if we did have, then it could be an interesting option. I'm sorry if this video is just focusing on T6 camper conversions, but there are some really, really nice ones here at the show. Um, the one couple behind me here are from Out and About Campers. Haven't heard of them before, but again, some really, really nice details and quality finish inside. So let me just show you inside this one behind me. Just really nice attention to detail, contrasting quality leather on the seat, it's really nice and soft. Love the finish on these countertops and cupboards. So four berths with the pot top at the top, full panoramic view with the awning opening at the front. And this is really, really nice. It's really good finish. Just lovely, lovely details. So contemporary conversion from a short wheelbase van from £21,000 upwards. So giving you a four berth camper van, skyline, cop top. I think we'll take their business card. There's even a pot plant. So these out and about campers are really, really nice finish. Uh, the one at the back, I don't know if you can just see, uh, has got a special offer on of £72,000 after the savings. So they're not cheap, but the quality is second to none. Very, very impressive. I'm sure these guys are going to do really, really well. So if you're looking for adventure, then what better than a Land Rover Defender with a tent on the roof? This conversion by Dormobile looks awesome. It's already been sold. I think it's a 110 chassis with the pop-up tent on the roof. All loaded up, ready for adventures who knows where. I've seen these transit conversions by the guys at Speeds before. If you're looking for a sporty looking van, these have got to be right up there. Really, really smart finish. Very dramatic colourways with the orange, yellow, black contrasts. But a lot of them based on the transit, which is interesting. £56,000 for this one, £70,000 for the one behind me.
there's no denying that they look pretty special. If you're not looking for a T5 or T6 converted camper van, the rest of what's here at the show is motorhomes of all sorts of different sizes. This is a 6.9 meter, loads of space inside, plenty of beds, bathroom, shower room, kitchen, over cab bed, lots and lots of space. But if you're looking like us for something between the two, there's not actually that much to choose from, which is a real disappointment. And again, if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that we, we as a family are really struggling to find that middle ground. And I can't believe once again, that we're the only people looking for something as a, a step up from the California that's not a full size motorhome. Undeniably nice as this is, and they do offer very good value for money compared to some of the Grand Californias and Westphalias and things like that. It's just too big for the anything other than the occasional trips away that we do, you know, two, three weeks a year. We're looking for something that's more versatile, more daily use, and something like this would just be very occasional. But I can certainly see the appeal. Maybe when it's just Claire and I, we've retired and we're doing six months touring around Europe, this will be the sort of thing that we have. Now this is the only swamper style van that I've seen here at the show. So I don't know if there's a move away from this design and appearance. I love the look of it, the rugged look, the chunky tyres, the wheel arch protection. They were everywhere a few years ago, but now seem to be less common. I wonder if it's coincidence or people are going back to the regular wheels and tyres. There's a lovely 18 year old classic auto sleeper here. Only done 27,000 miles. It's 18 years old. Looks in fantastic condition. Love this retro interior. Beautiful condition with a fixed high top, giving you the room to stand up. Really traditional camper. Lovely carpets, beautiful finish. It's still for sale, 30,000 pounds. Just showing you that a good camper, well looked after, will really hold its value. So every now and again at the shows, you stumble across a Sprinter conversion. Now Sprinter is obviously the next size up from a California or a transporter chassis comparable to the Crafter. It's narrower and taller. So really long van, good, plenty of space inside with a seating and bed arrangement at the rear and extra height, fine for somebody of my height, but a lot of the converters steer away from them because if you want transverse beds, they're not quite wide enough. So a long wheelbase with beds lengthways, they work, but a short wheelbase with beds sideways, they don't. That is a used van, which is seven years old, is for sale at fifty thousand pounds. But no denying the quality that the Sprinter chassis generally gives. 
There are loads and loads of trade stands here. In fact, there's possibly more trade stands than there are vans to look at, selling anything from cheese to sausages to awning tie-down straps to sofas to massage chairs, anything you could possibly think of. But sometimes it's a little bit disappointing when you come down here to look at vans and probably 50% of the display space is taken up from people selling washing up bowls or washing lines or flags or wellies. There's something for everybody here. So there are a large number of used traditional motorhomes available in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Uh, no new ones as we've covered already lots of different used ones from different used motorhome dealers. What was evident though was that they're all commanding very strong prices. So there were vans here there were six, seven, eight years old that were still going for 30, 40, even 50,000 pounds. Definitely holding their money very well. So this final van is a Bilbo's Volkswagen T6 conversion and it features a toilet in the rear. Now we've seen this before on some other vans, notably the Ford Nugget. I'm not sure if I want to sit in the back here to be doing my um, private business. And especially if um, there doesn't seem to be a blind on the rear window. But I guess the convenience if it's just you, maybe one other in the van, having the practicality of an onboard toilet in a small van is quite unique because there's only a few other people that do it. You've got two individual rock and roll style seats that will convert to create a sleeping arrangement plus a sideways opening pop top in the roof. You can have an optional high top as well giving more headroom the quality of these vans is very nice and they've won several awards over the years for their customer satisfaction. This blue van is a long wheelbase Bilbo's conversion. I don't believe it had the toilet in the rear and as such the seat was able to go farther back, the kitchen being back in the middle of the van. But it gave plenty of space for daytime relaxing. And again featuring the sideways opening pop top. But Bilbo's vans, whilst being a little bit different in their design and layout, have a very loyal following. And as I mentioned just now, have won several awards for their customer satisfaction. So thanks very much indeed for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video with the walk around of the Southern Motorhome and Campervan show. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and click the button to like and subscribe and follow us here on Campervan Journey for more videos coming up very, very soon. Thanks very much for watching.